When I was younger, I always wanted to fit in with everyone else. I was this overweight kid with no hobbies and no friends, and I didn't have anything unique to me. So I would look at other people, I would look at popular people, and I would try and copy what they were doing. I would try and change my values. I would try and change the things that I believed in so that I could fit in and so that I could get people to like me. If I liked a video game and someone said, bro, that video game's gay, I'd be like, yeah, yeah, it's terrible. Like, I don't even like it anyway. I just like played it one time and like it wasn't even good. I would change anything I could to just make people like me more. But when you try and fit in with others, you end up losing yourself you end up losing the things that actually make you a good person. The truth is that people don't care about you. Trying to fit in won't make a difference. If people don't like you, they don't like you. So be who you are. Stay who you are. Don't try and fit in with others. Don't try and change yourself. Don't try and change your beliefs. Don't try and change your values. Be who you are. Because when you try and be another person, when you try and copy others so that you look cooler, you just become someone who you don't even like. And if you don't even like yourself, why are other people going to like you? And most likely, if you feel like you have to fit in or change who you are to get the people that are around you to like you more, you're definitely not hanging around with the right people. You're 100% not hanging around with the right people. Because it doesn't make you feel good to be trying to act like someone else. So don't be. Be yourself. You hear this quote all the time. You hear people talking, be yourself, just be yourself. The people who are talking about this stuff still literally try and fit in with their friends and like act cool. Everyone does it. Everyone, it's natural human nature that when you see someone who's doing better than you, you immediately think that if you just copy them, you'll get there. Maybe, but everyone's in a completely different circumstance. You partially, by watching these videos, are going to be copying me in a way you'll become more like me. If you watch more Mr. Beast, you'll become more like Mr. Beast. I mean, you probably won't be giving away money like him, but if you watch these people, you'll become more like them. Now, hopefully that's a good thing. Hopefully I resemble something that you want to become like. Hopefully you maybe want to get into the gym and want to make friends, so that's a good thing then. But when you try and become like the people who are not good, but who seem popular, you become a worse person. You become this guy who's, who doesn't even know what his values are. You just go with the wind. If someone says something is cool, you're like, yeah, that's cool. If someone says something that you like is bad, you're like, yeah, that's bad. People don't respect you when you do that. If you're this guy who just is like, yeah, that's bad, even though you think it's good. And like, say you said something was good one time. And then someone's like, nah, that's actually bad. You're like, oh yeah, it's actually bad. People aren't going to respect you for that. People don't respect you, which is going to make you make less friends anyway. But this is just how I'm, my mind, and I think maybe yours might work too, is like, oh yeah, well, if they think it's like that, then I'll just think it's like that, and they'll think I'm cool and I'll fit in with them. But it's the opposite. If you don't stand up for what you believe in, people think you're a little bitch. People think, what the fuck? All right, this guy just said that this thing was something that he liked. But now that I said it was bad, he's saying it's bad too. So clearly this person is not someone who stands up for themselves, which probably means they're not going to stand up for me, which probably means they're just a person I shouldn't hang around anyway. But when you're someone who stands up, if someone's like, that sucks, and you said something was good, you're like, no, it is good. Like, I like it. You don't have to, but like, I personally do. And you stick up for what you enjoy. You don't just change because people say, oh, that's bad. Okay, yeah, I'll just change my beliefs so that I can fit in with them. People will actually respect you. They'll go, okay, I understand that. And like, they'll respect you for that. But a lot of young guys who were like me, who weren't popular, who I'm still not like a popular person or anything, but like a lot of young guys who were like me, who are unpopular, overweight, they don't have friends, they don't have hobbies, they don't have anything cool about themselves, feel like they should just be like everyone else. There's no way to unprogram that part of our brain. We just want to copy other people. Naval Ravikant said like, it's just literally something that happens. We see something, so we want to copy it. We want to become like that. We're trying to absorb as much information in as possible. Especially when we see someone who we think is doing better than us. They don't even have to be. But if we think they're doing better than us, we'll just naturally copy them. In the long run, if you stay true to yourself, 
If you stay true to who you are, you learn from people who you genuinely think are in a better situation than you, which doesn't necessarily mean that they're cooler than you or more popular than you right now, but just people who are doing better than you, books from people who are richer than you, people who are smarter than you. You absorb that knowledge and you also put it through your own filtration process you'll become a good person. You'll become someone who in the future, people actually want to hang around. Because these people, I've said this before, the people who look cool now, the people who look like they're doing so well because they're popular and they party in the evenings and they get a bunch of girls and they sleep with a bunch of girls and you think like, oh my God, I wish I was like that person because I would be getting so many girls and like realize that they're popular now which is cool, you know, nothing wrong with that. Like there's nothing wrong with them being popular now and cool now. But in a little sense, there is because it makes them complacent. They think life is always going to be like this. Oh, sweet. I'm 16 and I'm getting all these girls and stuff. I'll just be complacent. Why do I need to go to the gym? Look at how many girls. And you know what ends up happening to them. In the future, they haven't weren't anything. They're not reading books. They have bad habits that are really hard to break at this point, like doing drugs or smoking cigarettes or doing something like that. The girls they can get aren't as good anymore because they're getting older and they're not as attractive. They're not working out because their physique used to be good. It used to look good, but now they've gotten older. They've started to eat more and they're not working out as much or they're not working out at all. And they've gone to this point where now they're either really skinny or they're just starting to get slowly fat and they have like a dad bod or like a skinny fat type body. And now they're not doing as well anymore. They get a low end job that they hate. And you, on the other hand, who didn't try and fit in, you weren't trying to be like the crowds. You seen people partying and you thought they're not even having that much fun over there, which is another thing you got to realize. They're not even having that much fun over there. People can say, oh, you're just convincing yourself that genuinely, I believe people who party are not having fun. Maybe the drugs that they are taking are giving them a bunch of dopamine. That's a thing. Like you have that in your brain, but they're not genuinely having fun. It's not like you're feeling fulfilled. They're feeling like a sense of purpose from going to a party. It's just like a waste of time. But you, on the other hand, who's been doing this stuff, you've been reading books, you were dumb, you were fat, you were all the things that people associate as bad. You were all those things. So you went out there and you decided that it's time to get smart. It's time to get rid of this fat. It's time to get in the gym. It's time to improve my social skills. It's time to work on all of these things. And now in the future, you're the person who's smart. You're the person who's more popular. You're the person who can attract hotter girls than them. You're the person who's getting better job opportunities or has their own business. And now they look at you and guess what they think? Man, I wish I was like that guy. See how it works? But if you would have switched it, if you would have just trying to been like them, go to the parties with them, hey bro, can I join you and stuff? And like, you think things are going well because you're like, oh, the cool guy invited me to the party and stuff. Then you end up being like them. So be like yourself. Don't be mad that you're not popular right now. You think David Goggins was always this jacked, was always this good. I keep bringing him up because David Goggins is just a big idol to me, I guess you could say. But you think David Goggins was always this fit, always this jacked? No. He got beat when he was a kid. He had a terrible life. He had, he was fat. He had a terrible job and he decided that he had to change. And that's how he got into what he did. That's how he got disciplined. That's how he started working hard. He didn't try and change who he was. He didn't try and be like the other people. He just did his thing, worked hard, didn't listen to people when they said, oh, you shouldn't be doing that. Are you sure you want to train that much? You should be resting more. He just did his thing. And now people look up to him. So realize that. Don't be like other people. It doesn't make you a good person to be like people who you think are cool. Because to be honest, your judgment's probably pretty bad too. The people you think are cool probably aren't actually that cool. You just think they're cool because they're a little bit cooler than you. But don't be like them. Be real with yourself. 
Everyone nowadays is trying to lie to themselves, trying to look through this fucking lens of like, no, this isn't true. This is be real with yourself. Look in the mirror. Be like, I'm fucking fat. Just do, that's another thing David Goggins talks about. Be real with yourself. Keep yourself accountable. If you're fat, if you aren't smart, be real with yourself. Tell yourself you're fucking dumb. Tell yourself that you're fat. And then what are you going to do with that information? You can either sit around and be like, I guess I'm fat, so I'll just keep eating junk food. Or you can get out there and be like, let me hit the gym. Let me start dieting. Let me work really hard. If you're new here, my name is Adam Blondin. I make videos just like this specifically to help young men live better lives. So if you're young and you want to live a better life, go down and click on the subscribe and post notification button. And also join our email newsletter. You'll get a free PDF of the 10 most important skills for young men to learn and master. And these are skills that if you're currently dumb or you're currently not that popular these are skills you need to learn and i've also put in things that you can do to learn the skills and little tips and tricks to learning the skills and things that i've learned from getting to the point where i've learned these skills from where i used to be and you also receive advice from me directly to your email but if that's not for you i also post advice on my community tab on youtube so you can just subscribe and look at that if you want and have a wonderful day see you in the next one